They've been with me three days now, and all he does is beat her day and night. And on top of that, they say they don't need to be entertained, but then they're always like, hey, so what are we doing? What's next? What happens if one of these nights he hits her so hard he kills her? Sorry, Quagmire. Police policy, we can't step in until it's too late. All right. Well, first we want to thank you all for being here for Brenda. Now, I know it's going to be a long day, but we're all here because we care about her very much. All right, so we're going to go around the room and tell you exactly how your situation has affected each of us. Caleb, you want to go ahead? M me? Yeah. It's Chris. Y you don't know my name? Jeff and I are fine. No, Brenda, you're not fine, okay? B uh, please, I'd, I'd, I'd like to say something, if I may. <clears throat> the person I see before me now is just a punching bag. I want the girl I grew up with back. I want... I, I want my sister back. Glenn, I am so lucky to have such a wonderful, loving brother like you. Listen here, you bully. For your information, Brenda just agreed to leave you. Like hell she did. Jeff and I are getting married. <gasps> oh, congratulations. Have you thought of any names yet? Maybe, maybe Slappy? Or, or Bruzy? He's just gonna keep beating her, and then he's gonna beat the kid, too! God, I wish she'd never met Jeffrey Fekelman. You know, I was thinking... Wait, what? What? That's his name? Just go kick his ass. Boy, that'd be satisfying. We go over there, and we do what's right. We kill a bastard! Quagmire, you're talking about murdering a guy. It doesn't matter what he's done, it's still murder! No, Joe, it does matter what he's done. Th these kinds of guys don't change. <laughs> what the hell? Did you change the channel while I was going to get a beer? No! Let's waste this dick. We were just about to go on our annual midnight hunting trip. We thought you might want to join us. Yeah, what the hell? You know, Quagmire, I gotta say, I was pretty surprised you wanted me to come along. I thought you hated my guts. Oh, come on, Jeff, I don't hate your guts. When he comes back, I'm just gonna do it, okay? I'm just gonna point my gun straight at his head before he even knows what's going on. Kinda like this? Uh-uh! Not unless you want your friend's brains all over the place! Now here's the plan. I'm taking Quagmire for a little ride. And you guys are gonna stay out here and freeze to death! Now get those hands where I can see them! See you later, schmucks! Uh. Get ready to die, Quagmire! You know, if you had any balls, you'd put that gun down and we could settle this like men. <laughs> You're gonna die slower! Choke myself every day, you bastard! Oh, oh, Glenn, there you are! Jeff didn't come home last night and he hasn't called! Uh, well, actually, about that, Brenda, he must have left early this morning. Love, Jeff. P.S. If the cops ask, tell them that Joe, Peter, and Quagmire were with you last night. Well, I best be rolling on now. Oh, come on, who says that? It's an expression. Yeah, if you're in a wheelchair. Wow. I guess he's really gone. 